Our last frost date is still a week away, but we're almost done planting our spring garden. Today I'll show you how I planted cucumbers, zucchini, patty pan squash, and winter squash outside back on April 7th, three weeks before our average last frost date. This April has been colder than most, and we've had more snow, but that didn't stop me from getting an early start on my planting. We're able to do this because we start plants under cover. A single layer of cover allows us to shift our planting schedule three weeks earlier, and two layers of cover lets us shift the schedule six weeks earlier. For example, without cover, I typically plant zucchini on our average last frost date, but under the single layer of cover of this cold frame, I planted three weeks before the last frost. I planted enough seeds to ensure germination, and later I'll select the healthiest plant to grow to maturity and snip the rest. Cold frames are very effective, and you can often make them with repurposed materials. I made this one earlier this month out of scrap wood and an old refrigerator shelf. I next planted kusha, which is a large winter squash that stores very well and is great for pies, soups, and other dishes. Cushaw plants take up a lot of space, so after the last frost, I'll remove the cold frame and install a trellis for the plant to climb. As you can see, at the time I planted the Cushaw, the bed wasn't covered yet, but later in the video I'll show you how I covered the bed. Next I planted patty pan squash in the same bed. Patty pan may be our favorite summer squash. After the last frost, I'll remove the cover and install a teepee structure to encourage the plant to grow vertically. I finished my squash planting with acorn and butternut squash, which are winter squash varieties that store very well. Like Kusha, they'll be harvested in early fall. These plants also take up a lot of space, so I'll install a trellis for them to climb and make use of our vertical space instead of taking up space on the ground. To finish my planting for the day, I planted cucumbers. Without cover, I typically plant cucumbers a couple weeks after our average last frost, but this bed will be covered with two layers so I can easily plant them three weeks before the last frost. I planted a four foot row of straight eight cucumbers. A couple weeks after our last frost, I'll remove all the cover from the cucumbers and install a trellis for them to climb. This is the third year we've started squash and cucumbers three weeks before our last frost. So far, we've never lost any plants to the cold and they've done very well. But even if we do lose some plants, we can simply replant after the last frost and we've only lost a small number of seeds. After planting, I applied compost to the soil surface of all the areas I planted. I won't use any other amendments or fertilizers other than mulch. I then watered the beds. And to cover the bed where I planted cucumbers, cushaw, and patty pan, I moved one of my double layered hinge low tunnels from a bed of cool weather crops to the bed where I planted the summer crops. One of the great things about this low tunnel is that it's lightweight enough but I can move it from one bed to another as needed. The cool weather crops no longer need double cover, but the cucumbers and squash will benefit from it. To warm up the soil as quickly as possible for our summer crops, I'll keep the covers on until the plants germinate. After they're up, we'll vent as needed to prevent the plants from overheating on sunny days, and we'll keep them covered at night. All of the covers will be removed at some point on or after our last frost. So the great thing about starting crops under cover is that it allows us to move our planting schedule three weeks earlier when planting under single cover and six weeks earlier when planting under double cover. And as a result, we're almost done planting our spring garden before our last frost date. All this left to plant are beans, and I also have to transplant out all of the crops we started in the grow room, including tomatoes, eggplants, basil, peppers, and sweet potatoes. I'll be planting those crops out after our last frost date. Now, if you'd like to see how all of this early planting works out for me, please click here to subscribe. And to see all of our 2018 spring planting videos, click here. Also, I want to help you with your One Yard Revolution. So if you have a topic that you'd like to see me cover in a future video, please leave a comment below.